Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering. In the previous video, we have discussed the uh, actuator failsafe modes. What is basically the actuator failsafe modes and what different types of failsafe modes available in an actuator. And in this video, we are going to discuss about a direct and reverse acting actuator. So we uh, will explain what is basically a, di a direct acting actuator and how does it works and what is basically a reverse acting actuator and how does that work and how to implement the failsafe modes in the direct and reverse acting actuator both ways so that will be discussed in this video so in this learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel we will be learning a lot of industrial instrumentation basic and fundamental concepts latest updates and updates which is happening globally in industrial instrumentation and automations and we also discuss more on case studies troubleshootings operation maintenance in the field of instrumentation so if you are a budding instrumentation engineer or a budding instrumentation student or even expertise in the field of instrumentation engineer do subscribe to our channel i am very pretty sure to add more value to your career so let's get into this video so there are two different types of actuator direct acting actuator and reverse acting actuator so we all know that in an actuator we have two different forces one is the force supplied by the spring and the force supplied by the diaphragm if the force supplied by the spring is higher then the spring gets the conditions of the operation or if the forces by the diaphragm is higher then the diaphragm takes the operation this is how the actuator works by using this principle we have derived two different types of uh, actuator one is direct acting actuator and the other is a reverse acting actuator you could see that the air pushes the diaphragm and that force is higher than the spring so what basically happens the air pushes down the diaphragm and diaphragm in turn pushes the spring and the spring moves the actuator stem to the wall body that is the actuator stem or plug moves towards the wall body this is called a direct acting actuator it's as simple as that what is basically a reverse acting actuator you can see over here the diaphragm pressure causes the actuator stem to move away from the wall body then it is called a reverse acting actuator so in direct acting actuator the diaphragm causes the actuator stem to move towards the wall body and in reverse acting actuator the diaphragm pressure causes actuator stem to move away from the wall body so this is called a direct and reverse acting actuator and this is a chart by which we can decide the fail safe conditions with respect to their actuator actions that is already we have discussed about the fail safe modes of an actuator fail safe open fail safe close and lock in lost position so in this chart you can clearly see that depending upon your requirement if your requirement is fail safe close you can choose both direct and reverse acting actuator at the same time if your desired fail mode is fail safe open again you have a choice of selecting the direct and reverse acting actuator so this is the main chart of selecting the fail safe mode with different types of actuator the left side diaphragm expands the direct acting actuator with both fail safe open and fail safe close condition in the right side you could see that it is a reverse acting actuator and we have implemented both the fail safe close and fail safe open modes so this is how we have to achieve the fail safe mode in both that and reverse act, uh, acting actuator you could see very clearly for example if you are seeing the left side in that acting actuator you can clearly see the wall body the left side the first figure you could see the wall body is triangle inverted triangle for fail safe open for fail safe close you could see the triangle is a normal triangle so this is how the uh, position of the wall plug and body will change to achieve the fail safe modes with respect to direct acting actuator so you have clearly understood what is basically a direct acting actuator and reverse acting actuator and how to implement the fail safe modes 
in both uh, uh, diet and reverse acting actuator. So if this video was very useful to you, just hit the like button and share to an insulation community. And if you want to watch such insulation control system videos, do subscribe to our channel, Learn Insulation Engineering. Thank you.